In the boundless black expanse of the universe, only a select few stars ever achieve the kind of recognition that resonates through both academic research and the public's imagination. Betelgeuse is unquestionably among them. Positioned on the left shoulder of the Orion constellation, this massive reddish star has long captivated astronomers with its sheer size and unpredictable brightness. Recently, a wealth of data from powerful telescopes paired with expert interpretation has led to a startling and sobering possibility. Betelgeuse may be nearing the end of its life in a dramatic and potentially hazardous fashion. Renowned British physicist and science communicator Brian Cox has raised concerns, suggesting that a supernova could be imminent. His warning isn't without foundation. It's supported by increasingly compelling evidence from some of the world's most advanced observatories. If Betelgeuse is indeed approaching its final act, it could mark a turning point in modern astronomy and possibly have consequences for Earth as well. Betelgeuse is classified as a red supergiant, one of the largest known types of stars. If it were placed at the center of our solar system, its outer layers would stretch well past Mars, nearly reaching Jupiter. That's over 700 times the diameter of our Sun, with a mass roughly 15 times greater than the Sun's, Betelgeuse is in a league of its own. The star pulsates and shifts in volume, expanding and contracting in ways that continue to baffle scientists. This erratic behavior makes it incredibly challenging to predict exactly when the star will reach its explosive finale. Nevertheless, most experts agree that when it does, it will be nothing short of spectacular. When a star of this magnitude exhausts its nuclear fuel, its core collapses under its own immense gravity, triggering a Type II or core collapse supernova, one of the universe's most powerful and luminous events. In recent years, Betelgeuse has been closely observed by many telescopes, especially the James Webb Space Telescope. Though originally launched to explore distant galaxies, this infrared observatory has also directed its gaze toward closer celestial giants like Betelgeuse. Its findings have been astounding. Scientists using its highly sensitive instruments identified evidence of a massive outburst, an intense release of gas and stellar material from the star's outer layers. This ejection was far more forceful than the solar flares produced by our sun and hinted at serious internal instability. What was once assumed to be a gradual shift in the star's surface turned out to be a violent shedding of mass, forming thick clouds of dust that dimmed the star's light, an event famously observed in late 2019 and early 2020. During that, so-called great dimming, both amateur and professional astronomers noticed Betelgeuse's brightness fall to a visual magnitude of about 1.64, still visible to the naked eye, but noticeably fainter. This sudden dimming sparked widespread speculation that the star was on the verge of a supernova. Later studies concluded that the cause was dust, not an imminent explosion. Still, the sheer scale of the ejection was unprecedented. The expelled material, weighing several times more than the moon, traveled millions of miles before cooling into a dense dust cloud. This blocked visible light, but not the infrared wavelengths detected by observatories like Webb, confirming the star's ongoing violent convulsions. Further raising concerns were faint signals picked up by gravitational wave detectors and spectral analyses from instruments like the Hubble and TESS telescopes. A weak gravitational wave, possibly emanating from Orion, was detected, sparking debate within the astrophysics community. Though not definitively linked to Betelgeuse, the idea that it could represent the first tremors of a collapsing star couldn't be dismissed. Still, Without the detection of neutrinos, those nearly massless particles that typically precede a supernova, there can be no certainty. Even so, Brian Cox and many others stress that Betelgeuse is a ticking time bomb. Whether it explodes tomorrow or a million years from now, its eventual demise is guaranteed. A finale written millions of years ago, the sheer energy released during such a supernova is almost beyond comprehension. When Betelgeuse finally collapses, it will emit more energy in mere seconds than our sun will over its entire 10 billion year lifespan. It will shine brighter than every other star in the sky, becoming the second brightest object after the sun. 
visible even during daylight. This outburst could last for weeks, casting shadows at night and rivaling the full moon's glow. But while the spectacle would be breathtaking, it also carries potential risks. Even at its estimated distance of 475 to 642 light-years away, Betelgeuse's explosion would reach Earth in the form of high-energy radiation and cosmic rays. These include gamma rays, X-rays and particles traveling at near light speeds. If Betelgeuse were significantly closer, within about 150 light-years, the resulting radiation could damage Earth's ozone layer, exposing the planet's surface to harmful ultraviolet rays. Some supernovae are capable of stripping away up to half of a planet's ozone, potentially triggering mass extinctions. In fact, geological records suggest that Earth may have experienced such cosmic events before. Traces of iron-60 are radioactive. Isotope formed in supernova have been discovered in ocean sediments and moon rocks, pointing to an explosion near Earth roughly three million years ago. The effects of such an event would have been devastating, especially for marine life. Fortunately, Betelgeuse is believed to be distant enough to pose no direct threat to life on Earth. Still, its potential demise reminds us of the delicate balance life depends on and how easily it could be disrupted by forces beyond our control. What makes Betelgeuse even more compelling is its unpredictability. Its surface features massive star spots, cooler, darker regions caused by intense magnetic activity. These spots can cover up to 20% of the star's surface and contribute to its regular dimming cycles, which occur about every 430 days. Adding to the mystery are vast convective plumes, giant waves of hot plasma rising from the star's core. These plumes span millions of miles and can launch material off the star's surface in powerful eruptions. These chaotic internal dynamics keep astronomers on constant alert. Some recent data suggests the supernova may still be 1.5 million years away. However, Cox and others caution that dying stars can behave unpredictably and changes can accelerate suddenly. As a result, scientists around the globe continue to monitor Betelgeuse using an array of instruments, from ground-based optical telescopes to deep underground neutrino detectors and arrays frozen in Antarctic ice. Networks like the supernova Early warning system snooze are set to alert the global scientific community the moment a burst of neutrinos is detected, which would signal that the star's core has collapsed. If Betelgeuse were to explode within our lifetime, it would be a moment of both awe and solemnity. Humanity would witness the death of a star up close, something that hasn't been observed with such clarity since Kepler's supernova in 1604. But we would also be reminded of our vulnerability suspended in the cosmic void where unimaginable forces shape, sustain, and can end entire ecosystems. It's a poetic paradox. The same cosmic processes that create the elements essential for life also hold the power to wipe it out. Despite the risks, the scientific opportunity would be unparalleled. Astronomers could study the entire event in real time, from the first burst of neutrinos to the brilliant electromagnetic explosion and finally the formation of a neutron star or black hole. These observations would expand our understanding of stellar life cycles, nuclear fusion, extreme physics, and the cosmic origins of many of the elements that make up our planet and our bodies. In the end, Betelgeuse's supernova may not bring destruction, but it will certainly mark one of the most extraordinary events in astronomical history, Brian Cox's remarks are not so much a warning of doom, but a call to be ready, to observe, to learn, and to marvel. The death of Betelgeuse, whenever it comes, will be a celestial spectacle of epic proportions, a glowing farewell from a giant that has illuminated the cosmos for millions of years. Whether we are the ones to witness it, or whether we pass down the tools and knowledge to those who will, its legacy will continue to inspire, reminding us of our place in a vast, ever-changing universe.